See, I've used a lot of TVs. I have an LED TV at home. There's a massive QLED TV setup at our office. But one thing I've always wanted to properly use is an OLED TV. So when this recently arrived, the new LG G2 OLED TV, I was excited to see how good this was. And turns out this is actually good. This lived up to my hype. I mean, I know a lot of people who want to buy an OLED TV but have questions around burn-in issues, if it's worth the price. Well, this was my first proper experience with an OLED TV. So let me just answer everything. So this is the TV mounted on a wall and well, it looks fantastic. The OLED panel is one of the reasons why it looks so good, but the design also deserves some credit. I mean, you can use it on a stand, but it deserves to be set up on a wall because the G2 has a design that sits flush with the wall. This is how it looks like from the side. And this makes the TV look beautiful, especially because of how slim this is. Also, one thing to note, all of the internals, all the ports are in this TV itself. So there isn't a separate box or anything. This wall mount is actually adjustable like this, so you can access all the ports here. The side has a couple of HDMI ports and a USB-A port. One of the HDMI ports is actually HDMI 2.1 with EARC compatibility. And there are also more ports on the bottom here. So the reason why the LG G2 is a very slim and sleek TV while packing in all of the internals is because the OLED panels are very slim. They don't require any big backlight panel. The TV also has a very minimal design all around. The frame is silver that looks premium and the very narrow bezels make the OLED panel stand out. I mean, let's talk about the OLED display. I know you've been waiting for that. So these are the display specs. And the moment I started watching videos, movies, shows on this TV, I could see the advantages OLED brings. I mean, I've used OLED on phones, laptops, but witnessing the extremely deep black levels on this big TV is incredible. The TV can practically turn its pixels off and go crazy dark. And this is super useful while watching a movie at night because you don't see the gray letterboxing on the top. It looks all seamless. The next major upgrade that OLED brings over, say, an LED panel or a QLED panel is the colors. Don't get me wrong, QLED panels have great colors, but the colors on this OLED panel just pop. See, let me put it this way. The colors are extremely rich and vibrant without being too aggressive or feeling washed out. The viewing angles are also incredible and this is a bright screen. I mean, we checked the brightness using our Lux meter and it recorded a maximum brightness of 1100 nits. That is incredible for a TV display. See, everything on this OLED screen looks breathtaking, be it a Dolby Vision show like Our Planets, which is beautifully shot, or an over-the-top action movie like Godzilla vs. Kong. Everything looks great. Now, I prefer watching the TV on LG's AI picture mode because I actually noticed it making a difference in brightness and contrast, but there are different picture modes to choose from and there are all the other features too. The LG G2 OLED is powered by LG's Alpha 9 Gen 5 AI process of 4K, which brings features like AI 4K upscaler, AI picture mode, which I already talked about, AI brightness, which automatically adjusts the brightness and more. There's also a very cool art mode. I mean, this is LG's Gallery Edition TV and there is an art gallery app here, which has modern art pieces to vintage ones. And well, here are a few of them in action. And yeah, with the TV sticking to the wall, it does look really cool, like a painting hanging on a wall. The G2 is also a great TV for gaming. I mean, it has all the features you expect from a gaming perspective. The screen is 120Hz and the TV has support for G-Sync, FreeSync, ALLM, variable refresh rate. And there's also a game bar to see the FPS in a game, check if VRR and low latency mode is on or not. There are also a lot of other options. Anyway, the gaming performance on the TV is incredible as you'd expect from a high-end TV. This is Spider-Man Miles Morales and it looks great on this TV. But apart from that, the latency is low and I like that there are different game genres to choose from and the TV will adjust accordingly. There's also an OLED motion option which optimizes the picture quality for fast-paced shooter games. Now, I know one of the biggest concerns in an OLED TV is the burn-in and that's something I can truly check after using this TV for a few months. But LG does pack in a lot of OLED care options in this TV. First of all, there's Pixel Cleaner, which checks and adjusts each pixel in the display to prevent the screen from getting a burn-in after watching the same show for a long time. There's Screen Move, which subtly keeps moving the screen, and there's an option to adjust the brightness of logos and subtitles to avoid burn-in. Look, I can keep talking about this OLED panel, but the sound is also fantastic. The TV, even in its slim form factor, has 60 watt 4.2 channel speakers, including four speakers and two subwoofers. Now, most TV speakers are either low sounding speakers or speakers that can go loud but cause distortion. Thankfully, the speakers here are pretty balanced. They do get loud, but there's no crackling and the quality is always good and detailed. The sound quality is also very, very good. And unlike a lot of TV speakers, the bass is actually good here. See, like the display, there are a lot of different sound modes. There's Dolby Atmos support, which does bring a surround sound element. And there's also an equalizer if you like tuning things according to you. Overall, these are amazing TV speakers with a lot of customizable options. Moving on to the software, the LG G2 comes with LG's very own web OS software, and it is very smooth to use on this TV. 
I mean, I know WebOS TVs in the budget segment that get laggy, but this is actually awesome to use. Everything is fast and responsive, be it navigating the UI or opening up apps. I also like the UI. I mean, the homepage is filled with recommendations. But other than that, I like the features it packs. For example, WebOS has support for Alexa, LG's own ThinQ Assistant, or you can use Google Assistant. The good thing is all of these assistants work well on this TV. WebOS also has support for both Cast and AirPlay, so you can stream things from an Android phone or an iPhone, works. The TV is also compatible with the ThinQ app available on both Android and iOS. And this app lets you control the TV from your phone. You can control the volume, go to the home screen, mute the TV. You also get these app shortcuts so you can launch these apps quickly. Apart from that, you can also change the TV input and type on the TV with your phone. Lastly, there's the remote. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this big remote that kind of looks old in terms of style, but it does get the job done. It has all the buttons you need along with the scrolling wheel in the center. And this is LG's magic remote. So you can use it like this to navigate around quickly. Look, to conclude things, the LG G2 OLED TV is a brilliant TV. I mean, I was kind of expecting it to be awesome and it did meet my expectations. See, I love the flush to the wall design. The sound experience is fantastic. WebOS has all the features you need, but obviously the big, big highlight is the OLED panel, which is absolutely stunning, be it for entertainment or gaming, or if you just want art on your wall. Honestly, I'm gonna have a hard time going back to my usual LED TV. Now coming to the pricing, LG's OLED TV started at rupees 18,990 and that's for the A2 series and there's also the B2 series, C2 series and the flagship G2 series starts at rupees 2.15 lakhs. So these are obviously high-end premium OLED TVs. But I want to know from you guys, what do you think of the LG G2 OLED at its price? Comment down below, also give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. The brand new iPhone 14 Pro is here and this is what it looks like and the highlight obviously is the new pill, the new notch, the tag.